your story was phenomenal. The, the, your portrayal of the character was so interesting to me. What was what has the road been for you in, in the parallels to the character, yourself? As we mentioned before, your story is much different than the character's story. Yeah, I mean I, I think um, what I've what I've I realized was that the, the biggest challenge with this role was not to bring my um, sort of twenty first century American sensibility to this character and that was that was one of my greatest challenges. So but the other thing that I realized while working on it was that perhaps had I been born in a different circumstance, I wouldn't have been that dissimilar from this character. And you mentioned that you've been to Iran with your family mm -hmm. and it was eye-opening for you, so it must have really helped getting you acclimated to, to the character, to the surroundings, to the whole thing. How is that working for you? Well, uh, you know, actually, I, I spent most of my time in Tehran and Esfahan, and I didn't spend any time in, in villages, and so uh, it, didn't, it, it didn't acclimate me in that sense because it's very particular to sort of rural Iranian life, so right. I, had to, I watched a lot of movies and documentaries and read a lot to prepare myself for that. Any, I mean, this movie was kind of a Debbie Downer. I mean, it had to be done. The <laughs> world's big. biggest Debbie Downer. Debbie, like the world's biggest Debbie Downer. Prozac that, that's Nation. Be in the New York Debbie Times. Downer. I hope so. The, Pro <laughs> the Prozac Nation, the Xanax right, Nation right. of Debbie Downer. So, but you all kept your spirits up. You all sang. You all did your things. How did you? How did you get to handle that? I'm sure it was very emotional for you. For you, I read in the press kit that Naveed was very shaken during your stoning scene. Yeah. Like how? Like how do you like get over that and then live your life in Southern California? Like. How is that? Um, well, every night after shooting, I watched an episode of 30 Rock. <laughs> I really did. I'm not kidding because I was so depressed and it was so. And I knew I anticipated that it was going to be a very dark and lonely time. So I specifically brought the first season of 30 Rock with me. When I came home, uh, it took me several weeks, about a month, to shed the the character and this the world. And I found myself very listless and sort of. Immobile for oh, several weeks. Of course, of course, because you were just soaking it yeah. all in. Um, well, now you got to do a comedy. Are you are you looking at comedy? Yes, as well? <laughs> I'm looking for a comedy. Do you hear that? Okay, yeah. So that's cool, and maybe Thirty Rock, right? <laughs> but a shout out to Thirty Rock. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Great. Well, Tina thank Fey. You so much. Thank you so Thank much. Thank 